Hi, this is Jonathan Mills. Welcome to another edition of Stretch for Leaders. Dr. Stephen R. Covey passed away on Monday the 16th of July, 2012, after suffering injuries in a cycling accident about three months prior to his death. You may remember him as the author of the best-selling book of all time, more than 20 million copies sold, The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, and many more like First Things First, Principle-Centered Leadership, and The Eighth Habit. But it will not only be for his writings that he will be fondly remembered, but most profoundly for his integrity and trustworthiness. Bob Whitman, chairman and CEO of Franklin Covey Company, had this to say of Stephen. It is with a heavy heart and deep sadness that we share you the sad news of the loss of Stephen R. Covey. Albert Einstein's comment about Mahatma Gandhi seems most fitting for Stephen when considering the remarkable contribution Stephen has made to the world. Generations to come will scarce believe that such a one as this walked the earth in flesh and blood. Having met Stephen on a couple of occasions, I can certainly echo Bob Whitman's and Einstein's thoughts. Dr. Covey's passing will certainly leave a vacuum in the profound leadership arena. But aren't there more like him in the world? People who lead business with integrity, who are not motivated by greed, but by principles of sustainability, and who treat clients and staff with respect and dignity. I am sure that there are many dotted around the world, but too few. Every country in the world needs coveys. Business leaders who view their respective roles as callings and who view positional influence as an opportunity to serve. It is not just business leaders who should take heed of examples of profound leadership, but politicians and other institutional leaders would also do well to follow such leadership modeling in the way that they govern countries and their respective organizations. Political heroes are few and far between. Most politicians, once elected into position, spend all their energy on staying elected, with little or no energy being applied to service delivery and keeping their electoral promises. The world is currently experiencing a leadership vacuum. Are you going to stand up? and be counted? This is Jonathan Mills. Join me again for another edition of Stretch for Leaders.